circles. We're going to work on this exercise, it's kind of easy. It's simple, two methanol water mixtures are contained in a separate flask. The first mixture contains 40% of methanol, it's here. And the second one contains 70% of methanol. If 200 grams of the first mixture is combined with 150 grams of, uh, of the second one, so I have 200 in the first one, 150 in the second one, they ask you kindly what is the mass and the composition of the product. Product is the final. So what I'm going to do here is do a mass balance. Don't get used to the mass balance I showed you before, please. Like, don't get this as a law of batches, no, never do that. We need to do our analysis. Mass balance is always inlet, minus outlet, plus production, minus consumption. So, it's equal to accumulation. Accumulation could be either positive or negative. Now, there's inlets, yes, we have two inlets, so it's okay. Outlets, no, we have no outlets. Uh, production, uh, I don't think we're producing anything. No water, no methanol is being produced. So the inlet is actually what we are accumulating, which makes sense because if I told you, if I just dropped a solution in a beaker, and you ask me what's the accumulation, but of course the accumulation is the amount of stuff you just pour in. So let's continue, guys. Mathematically, the inlet is easy. M1 plus M2. Why? Inlet, inlet will give you the accumulation. And you probably don't actually have to do the mass balance to know what is the mass. Like by common sense you could say, well, if you just pour 200 grams and you just pour 150 grams, you just need to add it. But I wanted to show you how to do it with the mass balance approach. So here it is. 200 plus 150 will give you the accumulation, which is just the addition of those 350 grams. Nice. Now, they ask you about compositions, and the only way we can check composition is doing a mass balance in a species. We could use water, but I don't like that much because we need to like calculate the amounts of water. We could use the mass balance directly on the methanol. So, as I told you before, guys, I know the amount, the total amount, but I want the fraction of methanol, so it, it is here, plus the amount here in the inlet, This it has the same one, it's inlet equal accumulation, it's M1, M2, just be sure to check the methanol, this XX is very important, and it will give you the amount of methanol in the accumulation, okay? If you do not understand what these XRs, please go to your chemistry course and read the mass fraction section because it's very very important or you could choose to look in YouTube and look what is a mass fraction but I'm going, what I'm doing here is just simply calculating the amount of alcohol in M1 the amount of alcohol in M2 and the amount of alcohol in the accumulation or in these 350 grams so I just substitute data, and of course it's one equation with only one variable. The variable I'm looking for is the composition here. And I just do some maths, I get 185 divided by 350, and I get 0.529, also, that is almost 53% is methanol. And of course the balance, which will be 57%, is water. So we have the composition right here. We could either use water, or if we do right now a mass balance of water, we will prove so nice and so cool that one is equal to one or zero is equal to zero. And I see you the question why. Just think about it. It's something about like we have three equations and we only have two variables to get, so maybe you get used to that if you do a lot of uh, Equation systems, and you know you only have two equa uh, three equations and two variables, you know one equation is not needed.